So here we have three vectors, P, Q and R. Each vector has three components, an X component, Y component and a Z component. Here we have an algebraic expression. And before we work out what this is, let's try a simpler question, one you might be more familiar with. Suppose we have X equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 4. Now I'm looking at this algebraic expression which has vectors. And I'll make up a similar algebraic expression using these numbers. So 2x minus y minus a half z. And if you're asked to evaluate this, find the value of this, you would do a substitution process where you have two lots of x, which we know is two ones. We take away y, which we know is a two. And we subtract a half of z, which we know is four. So there's a substitution step. And then, of course, we do a calculation. Two ones are two, take away two, half of four is two, so we're taking away two. And that leads to the answer of minus 2. Now, to work this out, you're not going to end up with a number like minus 2. You're going to end up like a, with a vector like one of these. So let's go back and now let's work out what this is in component form. So we start out as we did before but this time with vectors. So two lots of P, incidentally, these are in bold font. Very difficult to write bold font, so we put a little line under it to show that that's a vector and not a number, not a variable that stands for a number. So two lots of the vector P minus the vector Q minus a half of the vector R. And then just as we did before, there's now a substitution process. So two lots of, these are the components of vector P. So we replace vector P with 2, 5, minus 7. 2, 5, minus 7. We take away vector Q. So we replace Q by 1, 0, minus 1. 1, 0, minus 1. These three components. Take away a half of vector R. So vector r is minus 4, 2, 0, minus 4, 2, 0. So that's our substitution process, just like we did with the numbers previously. Now we do a calculation. And instead of one number in each of these, we have three numbers, the x component, y component, z component. And we tackle each in turn. So let's tackle the x components, which are 2, this one and this minus 4. So the calculation we do would be 2 lots of 2 minus 1 minus a half of negative 4. Now that's just a straightforward number calculation. 2 twos are 4. Still to take away that one. Taking away a half of negative 4 the two negatives become positive. Half of 4 is 2. There's the calculation. So 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. That's the x component of the answer. We now tackle the y components. That's the 5, the 0 and the 2 and do a similar calculation to the one we did for the x components. So it's two lots of 5 minus the 0 minus a half of the 2. So calculation, that's 10. Take away 0. Take away a half of 2, that's taking away 1. So the net result would be 9 for that. And that's the y component of your answer. Similar set of calculations for the z components. 2 lots of minus 7 
minus minus 1 minus a half of 0. So 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. When we take away negative 1, it's just the same as adding 1. Taking away a half of 0 is just taking away 0. So minus 14 plus 1 would be minus 13. That's your z component. So there's the components of the answer. We just need to uh, check the answers that were given. There it is. Choice C. So choice C.